Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create the trend comparison between the two different date values. So over here if you can see I have the month values and then I am comparing the various years 2018 is here in blue, 2019 is here, 2020 and 21. This is then to show that for the same period how our different years are being trended and whether they are going up, down or what is happening. So this is a very impactful analysis which almost every business asks and that is why I want to show you. So we will see this and if you need this workbook where I am having line chart scenarios like I have shown multiple scenarios preparing more uh, then this workbook how to get it uh, is instruction is available in the description. So that is number one and if you need this data which I am using it then for that what you need to do is you need to use the link which I have given in the description that will bring you to my data set folder in this I have a data sets sheet in this data set sheet I am maintaining now this data set sample superstore uh, and the reason I am doing this is because of uh, some of the feedback that you guys give me that you are not able to find it very easily that's why now I am having specially couple of seconds to show you where it is present. So data set folder, data set sheet, within data set sheet in the row 19 you have the data set. So hopefully with that you can follow along with me like this person is currently accessing. Also one quick information about my uh, all my Power BI videos. So this link is also present in the description where I am maintaining all of my Power BI related videos, right? And uh, that way you can look at the title of my video and jump to the video using the video link which is present that way within here you can search any topic of 300 plus videos that I have posted so far into the power BI and you by using this sheet. Okay back to our uh, scenario. So this is the scenario so I will just move it away and uh, what I will do is I will show you in the uh, blank sheet as to uh, what this particular scenario is and how you can basically uh, put it. So for that let me bring up the Power BI, the blank workbook where I have only imported the data set. Okay. So first thing first is uh, this is a uh, this is a trend comparison of a cumulative sales that is number one right. So first thing first what I'll do is I will create a measure a measure that will going to basically help us create the impact of our cumulative measures okay. So for that I'll just click it over here and uh, we will going to give a name of cumulative sales right and in the cumulative sales what I have is the variable. Uh, and I will put this onto a next line by pressing alt enter variable underscore max date. So this is for cumulative sum. If you don't need cumulative sum that's also okay. So let me just show you that first as well. So over here uh, I will simply create a line chart right I will create a line chart and in this line chart what I will take is the order date and I just need from this hierarchy I just need month so I will remove this, remove this, remove this. I keep only month right. Now what I will do is I bring the sales. So I have my sales right good enough but you can see this is not the same as what I showed you that because that was cumulative sales and I will show you in a minute how you can do that as well. This is the actual trend of the sales data. Now I have the sales. Now what I need is basically a trend comparison of various years. Right now what is happening January is showing all the four year data. Fab is showing all the four year data. So we need a categorization or we need a different line for the year and where is the year? Year is present over here under the order date in the date hierarchy year is present here. So what I'll do is I will put the year onto legend and now you can see 2018, 19, 20, 21. And you can see the trend over here right now this trend uh, is the actual trend right and sometimes not very very uh, easy to interpret what's going on and that is why we sometimes create we sometimes create the advanced chart like a cumulative chart so let me show you that one so that you will get an idea so for that uh, if you see uh, let me bring it uh, this particular chart right as compared to this chart okay where are you 
again here. So this chart is basically showing you a proper trend and the comparison, right? So I have shown you the first scenario. The first scenario is that the actual sales trend. Now what I'm going to show you advanced scenario, which is the cumulative sales trend to create a cumulative impact. So we'll keep the figure over here, right? And then I will just create one more chart over here, right? And in this also, I will take the order date and I will keep the month only same configuration. But rather than sales, I will create a formula of, uh, of the cumulative sales, right? And uh, name, I will give it cumulative sales equals to pressing alt enter to move on to the next line. And then I will use the variable called max date. This is to identify what is our latest date or the highest date present in the data set. So max order date, right? This is useful or this is required to create the cumulative calculation, cumulative sales calculation. So we have now the variable create, collected, the maximum date connected, collected. Now we will hit return and then alt enter to move on to next line and we will say calculate sum of sales, right? And then we will say all selected. So all selected is required so that if there is any filter, we can take the impact of that filter. So anything that is selected, uh, all sorry, not the order date, but just the order tables, right? And uh, this was our filter number one. The filter number two is our order date. Order date will be less than equals to the max date. This will create the recursive impact where it will going to create the cumulative sum for us. So this is what we were going to return. So this is cumulative sales. The measure is getting created over here. And as per the name, it has appeared. So now I will bring the cumulative sales. Cumulative sales is coming here. I can enable the data labels from this uh, format visual coming back to my fields. Now what we need is similar to this. We need the year categorization. So our year categorization is present over here in the legend. And now you can see if I just expand this little bit, you can see our year categorization is properly coming right like i have shown you so this trend is comparatively you can see much more easy to interpret that it is a linear upward trend and if you have a scenario where you need the actual trend then you can use this both have a good application and uh, both are required uh, based on the business scenario you are handling so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed please hit the like button it helps me understand what your likings are and i create more videos and also please don't forget to share it on on social media sites like linkedin or twitter so that more and more people can get benefited from this also share it with your colleagues with that thank you so much i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic